In this tutorial we will use Tensor RT with Jetson AGX Xavier. Tensor RT takes a trained network, which consists of a network definition and a set of trained parameters and produces a highly optimized runtime engine that performs inference for that network. It is particularly useful in indebted systems where computation capabilities are limited due to the size of the device. Let's see some features of Tensor RT. Tensor RT is an SDK for deep learning inference developed by NVIDIA. It generates optimized runtime engine which enables increasing throughput and decreasing latency. Tensor RT performs five types of optimizations. The first is weight and activation precision calibration. By this optimization, latency is reduced and it also gives a significant reduction in model size, because float point 32 precision gets converted into float point 16 or integer 8. The second is fusion operations. Tensor RT uses layer and tensor fusion, to optimize GPU memory and bandwidth by fusing nodes and a kernel. The third is kernel auto-tuning. Tensor RT selects the best layers, algorithms, and optimal batch size based on the target GPU to kernel specific optimization. The fourth is dynamic tensor memory allocation. Tensor RT allocates memory to tensor only for the duration of its usage, so it uses only minimum amount of memory required for the operation. And the fifth is multiple stream execution. This means that Tensor RT can process multiple input streams in parallel. In this tutorial we will build a Tensor RT engine based on YOLO v7. Go to the YOLO v7 page and clone the repository. After cloning the code, return to the YOLO v7 page and download YOLO v7 weights. After downloading the weights, Move the weights file to YOLO v7 folder. To build RT engine we will use this repository, so git clone it. To build a tensor RT engine, we need a WTS file. WTS stands for weights. To do this conversion, we will need several libraries, so we are going to install it first. Firstly, we are going to install PyTorch. The basic installation procedure is explained in this page. Copy this line and execute it. Then install the required libraries. We will execute only a part of this line. Firstly, update the pip. Now install AOHTTP, NumPy and SciPy. AOHTTP allows users to create asynchronous servers and clients for async I.O. Skip installation of the PyTorch at this point. Then upgrade the protobuf library. Protobuf is a binary message format created by Google and is efficient compared to other message formats like JSON and XML. We should also check which version of PyTorch is suitable for our Jetpack version. Click here. Since we are using Jetpack 5.02, it will work fine if you install one of these three PyTorch versions. Go back to the previous page. Copy this link.
Here we have WIL files for PyTorch versions. Download the WIL file suitable for you. Move the downloaded WIL file to the home directory. Copy the file name. And execute the pip3 install command. We also have to install Torch Vision Library. For installation of Torch Vision, we will use this page. The link to the page is also in the description below. All you have to do is just to copy and paste commands under the Torch Vision label. Firstly, install required libraries. Clone Torch Vision version 0.14 Note, that you have to replace the version strings to actual version number you want to clone. Move to the Torch Vision directory. In this line, build version variable is set to 0.14. By executing this command torch vision build will begin. We have successfully installed torch vision. Next install tqdm. TQDM is a Python library that allows you to output a smart progress bar by wrapping around any iterable. A TQDM progress bar not only shows you how much time has elapsed, but also shows the estimated time remaining for the iterable. Install Seaborn. Seaborn is a library for making statistical graphics in Python. It is built on top of Matplotlib and closely integrated with Pandas data structures. Install ChuPy. ChuPy is an open source array library for GPU accelerated computing with Python. ChuPy utilizes several CUDA toolkit libraries to make full use of the GPU architecture. Install libcambura gtk. Libcambura is a simple abstract interface for playing event sounds. We have installed all required libraries. The instructions of how to do build and execute Tensor RT engines are written in README file under YOLO v7 directory. So, we need to follow these instructions. Firstly, move the genwts file to the original YOLO v7 directory. Then, open terminal and execute genwtspy script. Note, that weights of the file we want to convert should be selected using command line arguments. After waiting several minutes, the YOLO v7 wts file should be generated. Now move to the YOLO v7 folder under tensor rtx directory. Create a build folder and move to it. Firstly, execute cmake and then make command. Since we are using YOLO v7 weights, just copy and pass this line. Building engine may take about 10 minutes. We have successfully built the engine. 
to do the inference task copy this line and execute it. Image result will be generated in the build directory. Now we are going to execute TensorRT using Python. Copy from the build folder the engine file we have previously generated. And place it in the YOLO v7 directory. Also create a sample folder and move images you want to use for the test. Now execute YOLO v7 TRT PI script. The result images will be generated in the output folder. Now let's see what modifications we made to the original file to make it work with web camera. In the original file, the reference is done for all images in the directory. But in our implementation there is always only one image, that is camera frame, so we don't need a for loop here. Also, there are some differences in the infer thread class. In the original file we do inference for each image in the batch. In our case, first of all, we define video capture object. And then we read each frame and do inference on it. Note that image size is changed from original image size to 640 by 480 pixel image size. Now let's execute our code. Open a terminal and execute the YOLO v7 TRT cam script. 